Oh, oh god, I think Cock Excelente must have eaten something bad during yesterday's video. Perhaps it was one of those rats that he picked up out of a sewer and then stuffed into his mouth. Welcome to the adventures of Cock Excelente, a man who will make you be stuffed into his... Anyway, um, today we've got some vampiric points to spend. So I, I kind of left off yesterday after our haunted hotel adventures asking you guys what you think would be good. Uh, a, a good use of our points because really... I mean, if it was down to me, we'd be sticking to kind of our, our build, probably going down charisma. Well, there was a couple of people suggesting that, but the, the overall, the, the biggest by far, was everybody saying tech into celerity. Otherwise, during fights, because we are not particularly a combat class, we're going to get our ass handed to us. So, we're going to get the level 2 celerity. Now, it's also pointed out, and this one was quite popular as well, um, dexterity gives us both lockpicking and sneaking, two things that have been essential to our particular um, playstyle, if you want to call it that so far. Um, five points left. What else was suggested? Firearms. Basically, people saying firearms and celerity are how you're going to get through all the combat because we are Toreador. Um, what else have we got here? Um, perception wasn't bad, right? Yeah, range and inspection, not too terrible. Research intimidate and wit gives defense and hacking. Um, lots of people are saying all specs as well. Um, but apparently the higher tiers of... God, the music's loud, isn't it, in this menu? We're going to have the other tier of all specs as well. But somebody said beyond level 2 all specs, we will be breaching the masquerade. So we have to be very careful um, with, with, with kind of how we apply that. As a reminder, we are playing with the unofficial patch, but we aren't playing with the unofficial plus patch. There were some people basically saying, oh, you've got powers that you don't have. Um, do this and do that, which are only apparently available in the plus patch, which I had some other people clarify for me in Discord. So we are playing just the unofficial patch. I figured it probably wasn't worth me going for the plus patch. I, I want to play the game as close to the original as possible, but so it actually runs, which is why, of course, we're using the unofficial patch in the first place. If I could have got away without playing with the unofficial patch, I absolutely would have, to be honest. Let's do it. So, we got a, a quest from um, Jeanette, right? Uh, I don't exactly remember what she wanted now, in hindsight. Let's, let's check the journal whenever the game bloody wakes up. There we are. Um, oh, excuse me. Journal. There we are. Uh, Jeanette's asked you to go to Gallery Noir in Santa Monica and slash the paintings, I remember, and steal the charity box. Would you? Uh, yes, I would. We're cock, a cock excellente, after all. So we've got, you discovered a journal in the ocean house. According to its contents, jealous husband murdered his wife's family because of a locket. A murderous ghost helped the husband, uh, uh, of the husband means to keep her trapped here forever with him and seems to be trying to help you find a way to free her. Um, we're basically done with that one. So this one we're basically done. Um, this one, I assume both spiritual release and the ghost haunts at midnight, we have to wait for, Jean for Therese to get back. So I assume we have to finish Jeanette's quest first. Just a complete guess here. Um, we still can't do the explosive beginnings, um, because all of this is just tied together at this stage, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, yeah, it all is. Okay. So we got to work backwards quite a lot today. Um, the frame rate is also complete garbage, isn't it? My god. What the hell's going on? This game is quite intensive. I'm not surprised my PC's struggling with it. Wow. I don't know if that's coming across in the video, but wow, it looks like, uh... <laughs> it looks like complete shit. Somebody's been asking me, basically, every single episode to turn hey, me... Oh! Hey, hey, hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're I was about to say, you're new. Hello. On oh, I'm sorry. I have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Uh, didn't you get the call? This guy's obviously a bit of a simpleton, and? I think. What call are you talking about, Dirty? One of the artists pissed off the director, so I'm here to pull her out from the show. And who might you be then, Chief? Well, I am, um, uh... Oh, I feel like the bottom one's a bit mean, isn't it? Do we... I, I don't know that our Intimidate is particularly... Let's just go for, I'm the museum's director's assistant. Think you can let me in? Yeah, that pay well. Just taking one look at you. I'd say there's a hey, there we go. line of work. Me, security. I think we actually blood. succeeded without father, threatening to father, cave him in. Father, my six brothers. <laughs> yeah, we're all real keen on upholding the law. Like a family of Magnum P.I. Paul, Paul Blart, Mole Cop, look, Paul, uh, Paul Blart. I'll let you in. But I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to the security station after No problem at all. So a 62A. Uh, better file a 45B as well, just to be sure. Uh, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's right. I mean, who wouldn't file a 45B? Huh? Everyone knows about 45B. Anyway, uh, <laughs> go ahead on in and uh, you have yourself a nice Thank night. you, boss. We've got to go in, slash up some paintings. Um, I actually didn't want to go into Gallery Noir yet. Uh, 
I can't remember where I was gonna go, but it wasn't in that direction. But hey, we've accidentally found the right way, so that's working out for us then. Let's, uh, let's press on. Let's go in and get this quest complete. Again, I assume this quest being finished will uh, allow us to do... Oh, Cain meets Lilith. I'm gonna have to censor that. Cain cursed by God. Cain spurns Lilith. Cain slays the angel. Cain was the, the first vampire in, in lore, right? It's the first vampire because he killed Abel. And that's why he was cursed. Um, you want me to slash these? I see why she wants us to slash them, given that they are, given that they are uh, evil, evil vampire paintings. Do we just pull out a melee weapon and just fucking go to town, huh? Okay. Um, let's see if that works. It's slashed. Oh, wait, it is exactly that. Wow. Oh. Oh, you got to do them in the right order. Ah, uh, okay. Right. So obviously, I think it's got to be. Cain slays Abel. Cain is cursed by God. Cain then meets Lilith. Cain then spurns Lilith. Oh God, what the hell have I done? I've accidentally summoned someone, haven't I? Well, have we been tricked? Has she just bamboozled us? She sent us here to slash the face. Oh my God, a blood guardian. Hello? Oh, you're horrible. Uh... Right, give me a second to... I, we don't have any ammo, do we? That's okay. We, we can probably fuck this guy up. I was, I was trying to wait for him to attack then so we could potentially get some, like, attacks of opportunity in. But to be honest, we're not doing too badly against him, even though we have been absolutely well done. I don't know what that means. Um, So, when our blood drops lower than... We've not really had the, the situation where we've had yellow health before, because I think it's always just been, you know, things like being shot. So when it turns yellow, what the hell is that? I really have no idea. Um... Kind of getting our ass handed to us a little bit. Right, let's be careful here. Get him. Oh! Fuck him up. Come on, finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Okay, destroyed the paintings complete. Quest log update. Um, I'm pretty sure the yellow is like uh, like temporary help or something like that. So we've just got to kind of wait. Ch steal the charity box. That's what I'm really here for. Oh, that was weird. What a, what a weird twist. Okay. Um, this just takes us back outside. Oh, it's this way to sneak in and avoid the... Avoid the, the guy in the front, right? It absolutely is that. Oh, shit. There we go. We can climb in through here as well. Oh, interesting. So an alternate way through. Um, are we are we supposed to go through there? I, th I thought he was coming over to shout at us then. I don't think we can operate this from this side. I, I'm pressing the interact button. I'm sure you can hear it, but it's just not doing anything. Well, there we go. Um, oh, you know what we could do? Sorry, my friend, but you are a, a very, very easy target. Boom. All right. We could kill him. Gallery Noir's key. Oh, there you go. So that was the alternate method. Um, we, we could kill him. I don't know if there's a consequence to leaving him alive. I don't know if he actually does go and file that 54B. I didn't steal the charity box. Hang on. Uh, is that... Was that just a... Was that a silly joke? Was she being a ha-ha <laughs> silly... A silly... A silly joker? I'm going to make sure I haven't lost the charity box now. Oh, there it is. Nice. <laughs> Sucker. Right. Uh, and that's everything grabbed. Humanity lost. I'll be honest. It's worth it for the dollars. That's a fun idea. That's cool. That's that's the part of the, 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 the vampire masquerade law that I actually did kind of know from what we've done in, in CK2. Um, and obviously CK3 with our recent Alexander series as well. Um, we played the Ventru character. But yeah, that, that's uh, it's quite a cool way to, to, I guess, introduce people who are just, you know, playing the game to, to the law. Right, okay. Charity box stolen. Man fed on. Painting slashed. Blood Guardian defeated. Our health is regenerating there. Yeah, I can't remember what they said about health. Because I thought it was... Um, I don't think we've ever seen the yellow before, but I guess that's just kind of temporary, but we will refill. And then it's if you take serious damage, it removes the yellow entirely and just leaves you with the kind of blue gray bar. Um, sorry, this music is overwhelming. Uh, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, my bad. No, 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 please. Are they dancing? Oh, the Gimp Brothers. Let me out. At least I think that's how it was. That's how it was yesterday in the, um, in the ghost house, right? We didn't get the yellow bar from that, so... 
I guess the ghost was doing some serious damage. Also, Betten, it's, uh, it's Therese in here now. The sane one. You. There we go. What were you thinking? Hello. The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Uh, buh. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence That's like all the fair. others. Hang but on. how dare you? I didn't do it, I swear. It wasn't me. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them Oh, later. God, she's gone really but Sims 2 angry face, hasn't you she? you ruining my museum. Good Lord. I swear I didn't do it. I even bought the item from the Ocean, o ocean House here. Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. Oh. After all, you've acted decently I think we've actually... up to now. Did we actually pass that? Oh, cool. You. Okay. Um, of course, we want to call a few of Bertrand Tongue, so then we can speak to Bertrand Tongue about doing the thing for uh, for for Knox, right? And then when we've done the thing for, so we do the thing for her, speak to Bertrand Tongue, we do the thing for Bertrand Tongue, so that he'll do the thing for Mercurio. We do the thing for Mercurio. We get the astrolite. We do the quest. A long last. There's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud. You're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. Excellent. Um, for Santa Monica's most powerful kindred, I'd be happy to. I made some threats against my sister. Silver tongue. Cock excellent. fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. Okay, I asked her to fine. meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go My to the diner endeavors. and promise her like, that I don't plan to take any action. An art auction. Her. Wait for her in the back booth near the phones. Back booth near the phones. Okay. The Baron of Santa Monica wants a sister back. I'll get a sister for back. All her unwholesome I'm being the biggest ask is around. Disruptions. I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please. No problem. Be quick about it. On it. I'll, I'll take care of her. Thank you. Goodbye. Are you sure you sired her? This creepy painting would suggest very much otherwise, my friend. I mean, you two look like you were fucking creep lords from birth. Okay. That's like a, that's like a super unfortunate then. Wow. Ooh, we're looking looking incredible today, Cock Excellent Day. Right. Diner. Uh, we've got to go to the diner. We've got to go to the back booth by the phones. So we know you never see those two in the same room, isn't it? Some conspiracy afoot. Right, send me down. Just have a bit of a groove. They're pumping it into the elevator. I mean, you know I've got to. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Sorry, soundtrack was resetting. <laughs> okay. See you guys later. I was a bit. I was a bit weird then for a second. So the DJ had run out of music. All right, here we go to the diner. Hello. Uh, right. So, let's head on in. There's a lot of places we still haven't explored quite yet that I'm, I might go and. Oh my god! Attack of the clones. Begun. The Clone Wars has. Hmm? <laughs> ah! Evidently so. Uh. That's a shotgun. We've been told to avoid those. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, go. Do him in. Okay, get him. No, not the man with the shotgun. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, look, see, our health isn't... It's just blue right now. Jesus Christ. Let's keep our head down quite literally for a second. Okay, go. Oh, this is bad. I think this is I think this is a sincerely bad occasion to be cock excellente. Give me some health. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I, I think you missed it. Did I, did I drink it then? Oh, sorry. I thought I just skipped skipped the, the menu. Okay, keep your head down. Keep your head actually down, though, cock excellente. There we are. Hey, you hey, you Fuck him up. God, this is danger. This is danger zone right now. Oh god, we're almost dead. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. Oh. 
You're you're so done for. That was that was some good shit. Did you see that? That was Matrix. All right. Hello. Hello. Do you think she sent us here to get us killed? Because I get the strange feeling she sent us here to get us killed. I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal. To yeah, weird. Her design, strange. So she sent those men. To I'm not sure I believe you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this tongue business. All right. Yeah, thank you. Crazy. Help. Oh. Uh. Oh. Sorry, can I get service, please? Oh, this is... Look, you got to appreciate the hustle. The man is... <laughs> the man was in the middle of a freaking gun shooting. In, in a bloody shootout in the middle of his restaurant. The walls, the, the, the ceilings, the floors covered in bullet holes and blood. He's just straight back to cooking his Italian food, whatever that happens to be. His nondescript Italian food cooked with his nondescript Italian hands. Absolutely fantastic. Be more like unnamed Italian man number three. Right, um, we could do a bit of blood. Like, do with a little sippy sippy. We're out of blood packs too. Hello. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? Oh, I am. You know it. Mm. Let's go 40 more. bloody dollars for that. Intimate. You lead the way. I'll lead the way. Have I got to take her up to, like, our room? Or can I just fucking, like, take her down an alley and do her in? Right, Grand Theft Auto style. Come on. Come on, please watch your... Okay, honey. I was going to say, Let's watch your... what you got. Watch your dress. Um... Oh, no. Oh, I should have said follow me a bit more. Am I in trouble now? There's a pissy man over there. What the hell happened there? I think the game just shit itself. There we go. We're all right. The game was very not happy about that. I feel like we're, like, borderline masquerade violation right here, though, aren't we? They don't care they just do not care we're gonna just go around the other way in case yeah that was a bit weird i didn't stop feeding on it then it just automatically <laughs> snapped out of it but of course it wouldn't be vampire the masquerade bloodlines without some weird shit going down would it it's a nice night out huh Char. Char. right hold on one second obs is screaming at me so i better just tidy up uh tidy that up there we are okay we good we back to oh excuse me bring the game back Whenever you're ready, hang on. Please, please load. It's a very intense game. We talked about this earlier. Right, off we go. Uh, send me in. <clears throat> Sorry, whenever you... There we go. God, I hope one of them doesn't attack me. Weapons not allowed. Okay, well, I guess this answered that question then, huh? You got the same painting in your office that you got out here. Let's buy one, get one free. Oh, God. Hello? Are you okay? You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. Oh. And now I'm going to make sure she never double crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tom. What a shocker. Turned you against it's the me. same person. Always looked out for you. Who'd have thought? You couldn't stand my success. <laughs> you had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me. You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Um, what's going on here, Therese? Or should we say, why are you both fighting? Why don't we play along with her, 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 her weirdness? I think we'll just, we'll just kind of play along. We're equal as we Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with <gasps> kind, no less? Oh. So despicable. So unclean. Absolutely you vile. Talk, dear sister, or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world uh, oh. to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father This is a bit, it's a bit weird. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Uh... Oh, Pappy. Both of you stop. Don't you want to hear what happened? Let's use our convincing... How she became the pillar of the community she is today. Shut up. Cock Just excellente shut up. superpowers. Stop it right now, both of you. Don't try and stop me. I've had to overlook her treachery. 
her seduction, relations with my enemies, and the consequences of it. But I won't endure her any longer. Endure me? Dear sister, you've done everything you could to smother me. You love to bury me in your closet, along with all your other skeletons. I'm the good that girl. That room's You're for? the wicked one. You've that done nothing but plot against me, when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. It's a shame Blame me for more every mistake. Pills anymore. Did you expect me for to us, let you rule my her. life until the end of time? <laughs> no, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Uh... If both of you want to continue to exist, you're going to have to live with one another. I assume that if you want a, a big convincer, like Cock Excellente with his mighty powers, maybe you could pick one or the other to kick around? I'm not entirely sure. Um, if you both want to continue to exist, you're going to have to live with each other. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Uh, both of you have been working against one another. Together, you'd be a power. I don't think that's possible. How could I ever think to trust her again? Trust me? Who could trust you after what happened with Father Dearest? Father loved me. I was oh. a good girl. I always did what oh. I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Are they talking about, like, their vampire father? Or are they talking about their, their like, their, their real human biological father? It's, it's weird either way. It doesn't matter. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Oh, Therese with that walked gun. in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. What a Father waste of silly clown wallpaper. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. Um... You two need to move on. Look, we can buy you more silly clown wallpaper. Why? How will this time be any different? Because you have cock excellente. Um, because I don't think you can live without each other. Or think about how powerful you could be if you work together. I think I'm going to go for option three. Therese doesn't like to share. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction. Which is something a pigtailed face painting harlot does not lend very well. You do have a way with words, sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? I mean, murderers are so respectful these days. Uh Am I am I supposed to talk them down now? Therese Legendna have more responsibility. More responsibility. So that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. Uh, and then we say, Jeanette, stop sabotaging your sister's plans. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You God, do I... it because you're yeah. vindictive Ugh. and jealous and you deserve it. God damn. Can we just take the shotgun now, brother? Can we just... <laughs> We're going to have a silly happy clown wallpaper version 2.0 if you people don't chill. If she would stop treating me like a child. If she would start behaving like a rational adult. You, most, you both must have gone along at one time. Yes. There was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. Father wouldn't allow us. He said we'd get hurt, so we stayed inside and we imagined our own worlds. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happier times before we grew apart. Uh, you don't really want to kill each other, do you? I never did, no. I do. I guess I don't. <laughs> I, I Jeanette. Do. If I were to give, offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you quit consorting with Tung? I'll stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while, when he can be of use. That's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica, but only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. That way, we know who our enemies are. I agree. Mm -hmm. Give me the gun. Oh, I can sell it to Trip. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tongue. Yes. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. 
I'll tell him to expect a visitor. Hang on, I'll what? ask him to be extra nice. <laughs> He's hiding in an empty oil tank. What? He's been there for what? Like three fucking days now? <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Please give Santa Monica's regards to the prince and keep your tongue tied about what happened tonight or we'll have to kill you. Oh. God, her face did go a bit weird then, didn't it? That was a bit, that was a bit bizarre. Oh, I wanted to see if we could keep speaking to her. Specifically about the bloody quest that we've done for it. Oh, they respawn? Oh, they're respawnable blood bags. I think it was still be good to go and buy a spare one just to have in the middle of uh, combat, huh? Um, right, okay, let's check our log a second and see what that's cleared. Okay, excellent. So that's cleared all of them. Fantastic. So we've got this one, which we need to go to a different area, down to Los Angeles. Carnival of Death, no idea what to do there. Dude has been caught off, tongue is hiding in an oil tank not far from the asylum. You meet with him, get him to show you where to the warehouse so the explosives can be set. Nice. And then this one is downtown as well. So I assume those two take place in the same area. Um, God knows what this one's about. Maybe this is something to do with the Explosive Beginnings quest then, huh? Wow. Sorry. So let's go back to the blood bank quickly. Actually, I want to go to the trip first. Um, What's the hops, bro? Just to sell some crap. See if he's got any new crap. Buy some ammo, that type of thing. Um, but more specifically so that we can go and also use the money we get from trip to buy an extra blood bag. I know we don't need it, but we might as well. We might as well be a bit more careful, I think. Was that police car always there? Oh, they're investigating the... I bet they're investigating the alley, aren't they? Um, oh, sorry, the, the art gallery. Trip, bruh. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Uh, I, I need to buy something. All right, here's what we, we got, got for me. Um, 48 ammo. 38 ammo. Six out of six. Does that mean we're full, or does that mean we... Oh, there we are. Current, we got one out of 11, max 134. So we could buy some extra. Um, it, 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 does it mean that it sells us six shots? That would make a lot of sense. Um, brother, I, I need to sell you some real just shit here. Gold ring, sell it. Bail bond? Uh, I don't know what we do for that. I have no idea. We, we've still got that on us, huh? Wooden stake. Okay, I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. Lock pick. Um... Somebody said we could give Lily's purse back to us. We should probably do that at some point. Same with the diary as well. But we've got Virgil Crumb's driving license still. Um, morphine we'll hang on to. Yeah, again, you never know when that will come in handy. Um, we'll buy some ammo. Let's buy... Uh, oh, it's only 19. Sorry, I don't know why I thought it was 39. Um, let's buy a few shots of that. Seeing as our firearm skill is, is well ahead of all of our other combat skills right now. And it probably always will be, to be honest with you. Especially because I'll do anything for money in this game. Anything. I'll slash some paintings and kill a vampire spirit. I don't care. Right. Let's go to the blood bank. I'm, I'm going to go investigate what's happening with the police there in a second. There's a couple of characters that we've also been able to speak to since the start of the game that we've not actually ever spoken to. Um, specifically the guy in front of the building that Mercurio's in. He's always been someone we've been able to speak to. A vandal. Hello. Did he just... What was that? Was he trying to hide under the desk? Hello. What have we got for sale? Blood pack? We've got blue blood pack. So that one, I assume, restores more blood. Um, I'm just going to buy a regular blood pack. How many of those should we buy? Should we just get, like, three of those? Maybe, that, maybe like, in the heat of combat, you could just drink one of those and be topped back up fully. I'll buy one of those for super emergencies. I think that's not a bad idea. Thank you. Goodbye. We could just eat rats. But you never know. Like, for example, the diner. That last blood bag saved our life there. There's no question about that at all. Um, right. Okay. Let's carry on then. I think there's still some blood bags don't get upstairs in the blood bank too. Like, like right at the top. Where the uh, guard patrols. We could probably use our next level of all specs now to actually see his patrol route and get over there a bit easier. What's going on over here then? Hello. Hello. Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. It's Adam Jensen. What's going on here? Uh, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? I never asked for this. Thank you. I hope they find the guy the person oh, who did this. Bye. Um, we could go in. Is there much point going back in? We could investigate a little bit. Was there something under there? Maybe just a weird reflection. Um, we could have a look. Just see if there's anything's changed since we slashed the place up. Still the same. Big old bloody puddle there. Yeah, functionally identical. We can't steal from the charity box again, I suppose. Fortunately not. Empty. I thought it was worth a shot. Okay. So, I'm going to go and just 
talk to some people, I think. We'll just explore town for a little bit before we continue on with old Bertram Tongue, who's apparently in a barrel somewhere. He's been in there for a few days. He can be in there for a few days more. So specifically, there's this guy here um, that we've walked past a few days and not actually spoken to. Uh, yes, is there something I can um, help you with? You look a little bit like every male NPC from Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, what are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. <laughs> rather dreadful place. A rather you? dreadful place. Don't listen to my mechanic. Buy German, he said. Uh, looking for a little company? Oh, sorry to drop me. My wallet's been stolen. I need to take a cab. Should we go for the second option? Go on. I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Oh. Can you join me? No need to go that far. Oh, we're just gonna... We're just gonna eat him near... I'd rather not, if possible. I'd rather save him for a future meal. Because we don't really need that much blood. Hopefully he sticks around. Oh, so he's just a blood bag then. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's fine. Um, okay, so we've spoken to him. Um, have we missed anything else? I don't think we've been in the... Oh, we did go in the tattoo parlor. It was a dump from what I remember. Nothing in there. Yeah. Absolute dump. Okay. I want to make sure we got all our bases covered before, because I, th I think we're kind of getting to the, the, the conclusion, but perhaps, of this first area. A complete guess, but seeing as we've cleared out all the other quests, I just want to make sure we're staying on top of things, really. Hey, need a date? So there's that woman in there that we spoke to, that I gave some blood to, and then we were going to come back and speak to her, but she was already gone. Um, so I, I'm hoping she'll come out later. Did we ever find out what the blood is? Oh, it's just Mercurius blood that I see him already climb back. Can we go and speak to him again? See what he's doing with his life. Gonna have a look around. I feel like I missed something on the pier, you know? Uh, past where the, um... Past where all the people on the beach are. Also, I want to give Lily back her purse, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, where the arcade was, where we saw the body. I'm, I'm, there must have been something we could have done up there. Because that's... Uh, this area, besides the one quest, has all been basically dead. Let's go and investigate. Maybe, maybe new things spawn in because we're at like a different stage of the game or something like that. Um, oh, God, Bruce, don't stand like that. That's frightening. T-posing Australian man frightens local vampires. Hi. Hi. Um, how'd it go with E? This life's been I'm harder. pretty sure we've already spoken about this. Um, good luck to you both. Bye. E. I want to give you Hi, your Rob. purse back, actually. E. Want to go for a swim? Don't let me stop you from going in. You're a bit weird. Uh, good to see you're okay. Hi. How do we give her a purse this back, then? Um... Vampires in love. You guys make a great airport paperback. Don't even think about it. That's it. Oh, man, I wanted to give her a you thing back. Me. No, no, you are going to China. Am I? Oh, that's good. Uh, what, 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 are, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. She's a vampire too, isn't she? Is the They're all vampires on this him? beach. Was she Malkavian? You're not making any sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, God. Oh, she's, oh, she's freaking out. I've got a state with your name on it, brother. It's open. It's open. Oh, the top of the oh, city, God. on the We're sea, on the... underground. I don't understand. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Is that a future? What I say. Uh, you have to gift. It's very important. Can you tell me anything else? One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps his hand on the pawn. Oh. Okay. Um, can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Is that it? No, 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 no. Um, do you know anything about the murder on the pier? Hey. Murder. Hey, here we yes. go. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis and to the home of the stars. And then returns fulfilled. And empty and once again. Once what? Again. Um... Explain so much to write forms for the IRS. Ah, very good. Oh, very droll, cock excellente. Uh, can you be more specific? Because I don't really know what you're fucking talking about there. Vampire. So, killer is dead. Gotta be some sort of vampire. Maybe a ghost, seeing as those are confirmed real. Moves soon. Travels to the heart of the Angeles, whatever that is. Um, to the home of the stars. Does that mean angels? I don't know. And then returns fulfilled and empty once again. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what no, I'm saying. No, 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 no. Um, you tell me my fortune, I'll pay you. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. Okay. I know the ending. For a hundred, she'll tell us what we want to hear. I, to dream. I know your questions. All right. For one hundred dollars, 
I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. That seems like a great deal. Uh, 100, I'll give you 20. Here's my question. Maybe another something. Oh, I was going to give her 100. Fine. Um, I'll give you 20 to tell me what I don't want to hear. Brilliant. Then ask again. All right. Um, what's going to happen to me in the next few nights? The Crimson Sheep. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. What? Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Okay. The Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Chinese brothers. Do what does that mean? Uh, does that mean the Cathayan has friends, right? Uh, Crimson ship. He's not who he says she is. He's not who he says she is, and it's going to burn. I don't know what that means. Uh, dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. God knows what that means. Where do you want to go? Um, okay. Who can I trust? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. Oh, Mercurio. Others, tread carefully. Got it. Easy. Um, uh, who are my enemies? Many. Everywhere. With swords. Some with swords. Quite literally. Some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Thank you. Well, thank you. I am. Um, who has a job I can do? No, 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 no. I don't know what I'm saying. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I have a few more questions about my future. Uh, who has a job I can do? Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. Uh, there are many unique individuals around the city. Saying E, for example. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right I wonder if she's talking about the Lily quest specifically with about E. Um... Any advice at all? Something that's going to save my life? Don't open it. Don't open something. Right. Something about a casket. God knows what she's talking about. Um, who's? Uh, am I going to win after all is said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. Ah, don't, don't, no, and no piracy. Good, good thing to throw in the game there. Uh, in fifth grade, it's not my I bike. see the future, not the past. Well, I'll come back when I have another question. Right. Okay. Oh, let's speak to... Uh, oh, we've never spoken to this guy before. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Uh, what are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Uh, if only he's killed... If, if he's killed with the holy stake, sure. Interested in purchasing it. Okay, but first I had another question. Okay. How about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Uh, sure, if it's unicorn blood. Unicorn blood? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There can be vampires. Uh, fine, I won't sell you any then. Yeah, do that. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money. Um, come back in a little while. I will. Mayhem, bro. <laughs> um, I feel a little mean now, but that's that's great. Uh, e evening. Right. Uh, trying to think about the murder on the pier. M mur murder? No. No. I, I, I wasn't here when it happened. Okay, uh, f -f 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 thanks, Porky. Wow, that's incredibly rude. Right, it's got some other stuff to e say, right? Um, e uh, are you okay? It's n it's nothing. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Okay, we'll speak to E. I don't think he has another hey, quest man. for us. Just passing through. See ya. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've learned something, I think. Um, thanks to Fortune Teller Lady. We saw a big wolf up there when we came through last time, which I'm probably sure is behind the murders. It's probably a werewolf, let's be honest. Um, I don't think they've actually openly said that werewolves are a thing, have they, in this so far? So maybe that's the mystery. Um, okay. Push from police station. No way we can get over there, is there? No, not at all. Right. Over here. Speak to you? It doesn't say this anything. There's a closed crime scene. There's a closed crime scene. What if there's a way round? So we can get through somehow. Um, down there was nothing. Just, th just thinking, I might as well investigate. Cover all our, cover all our bases, right? Yeah. Okay. I think that's genuinely it. We could try all specs, but I feel like it might, uh, might get me in a bit of trouble. We get some masquerade violations for that. Yeah, can't pick the lock. There he is. It looks as if he's been had by a werewolf, doesn't it? That's my money. That's where my money is right now. Werewolf, calling it. I'm going to try an all specs. Just to see what it does for us. Nah, nothing. I'm kind of interested if there's like... Um, if any of you played Divinity, Original Sin. Uh, Original Sin 2, actually. There's like a ghost vision in that game. Um, you can activate 
basically whenever you want. You have to manually activate it, and they just like hide shit through the game um, that you can only see with Ghost Vision. So I'm thinking maybe all specs work something like that, uh, where we can only see certain things where they're active, perhaps. Have you got your money yet? Oh, brother. Okay. Well, we've got the we've got the stake. I guess the unicorn blood. I guess we could just give him the, the blue blood or something. We can't go back up there. Interesting. Well, all right. Um, we, we found a little bit more information, but nothing really ultimately worthwhile. Nothing that we couldn't have found before. Let's put it that way. So tomorrow, then, we'll be going for Victor... Victor Tongue? Was that his name? Bertram Tongue. Sorry. Bertram Tongue and Victor Crumb. Or whatever his name was. Uh, it was somewhere... It was in an oil barrel somewhere. Because <laughs> ah, of course he is. Because why wouldn't he be? It's not even open. You don't, need to, you don't need to close that. Santa Monica. City of Light. City of Magic. Safest place on Earth as far as I'm concerned. It's like Disney. They have that on the sign on the way in. It's like Disney. That's, that's literally what they say. I want to see. The final person actually is, is just Mercurio quickly. See if he has anything else to say for himself. There was um, one of these things. We could have picked a, a lock in one of these, right? We just didn't have the skill level for it. What's this? What's the... Was it like skill level 9 or something crazy? Eight. Okay, yeah, so we really can't do that for a while, but we'll remember it's there for the for the future. Are you alright? Hello? What's in questions about Santa Monica? Specifically? Uh guns? Guns? Guy named the trip. trip. The there you go. He keeps a few pieces Give him a call, tell him uh, so even though they all say this, the guy just sells ammo, doesn't he? I don't think it ever sells actual Who guns. Exactly. She's the woman around uh here. right. Power player. Let's look a brawl for a dead chick. For a dead chick but, uh, personality, personality like a stone. Right. Okay, so that's who exactly? The crazy ladies, Bertram Tong. I don't know him myself. Don't know him. Meet the guy. Crafty, smart guy. Okay, people. And there's yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants. So the asteroid any wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Like he's some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. Hey, LA, what are you gonna do? Okay, so we know everything exactly? about the people now. I want to quickly ask him about places. Just make sure I've covered all the all the bases, really. Um, Specifically. Uh, power players, guns. We already know that. Oh, we know everything then. All right, we're officially extremely smart. Okay, excelente. Detective Supreme. So let me know if I've missed anything. Um, there's a couple of places we could still go. Obviously, there's the top floor of the blood bank that I feel like we haven't been to properly. Um, there is old, what's his name? The tire man. Um, Good God. I don't think so. Don't they have street cleaners? The, the crime, crime pooter man. Uh, he's got some other stuff that I assume we could that we could see. But besides that, I feel like we've been more or less everywhere. There's like the scrapyard or something, um, which is near the crime pewter man's house. But other than that, I think we're good. I think we're golden. Thank you all for watching. I was checking our emails very quickly. No unread emails. And that means that it's time for bed. Good night, everyone.